What we've been looking at more, more recently um, is teacher noticing. What sense do teachers make of events that happen in the classroom? And what are their beliefs in terms of what they should do about it? Because what we've found is that to some events in the classrooms, teachers react. So, for example, with physics teachers, um, if a child uses the term mass, when a physics teacher would use the term weight, a teacher corrects them straight away. It's one of those things that physics teachers do. Whereas other things, teachers will hear the child say it or watch and observe the child do something, but actually take more time thinking about how can I actually help move that child forward. And this is what we call responding. Right, so this responsive approach to those events that's there. And then other things teachers notice and decide to leave until later because they feel that at that particular time either there's not enough time to actually deal with it or sometimes uh, the child is not ready yet to move on to that next part of learning uh, and they plan that in for later in the actual um, scheme of work. So teacher noticing and what teachers believe is going on has been quite central to it. Uh, and I've been very fortunate to uh, move back into um, a, a subject area that I know well, and that's science education. We've been able to do this in inquiry classrooms, uh, where teachers have been willing to do much more classroom assessment, because the assessment of uh, inquiry is very hard to do by paper and pencil type examination. And so looking at inquiry as an approach to learning, we've been able to map out the type of assessment for learning practices that teachers have. And particularly when they try and let children take a larger role uh, in terms of negotiating what they're going to do within the classroom. It's allowed us to see that teachers have got a large repertoire uh, of ways they work with children. Sometimes they guide, sometimes they shepherd, uh, sometimes they will facilitate, sometimes uh, they will challenge uh, the child in terms of things that the children says and does. And what's interesting for us is the to and fro feedback that happens in the classroom. This is assessment for learning that's really a sort of dynamic uh, in its nature and much less planned than the type of assessment for learning uh, that we dealt with previously when teachers would focus on a particular question or a particular activity uh, that they knew children might do in a particular way and they knew the sorts of way that they might help that child. And so this sort of dynamic approach and the way that teachers work has become very much part of the work that I'm doing.